Hello and welcome back to Lethal, I'm Alistair, here to talk about my top 5 favourite scenes in Zack Snyder's Justice League. So much has happened since I dropped my review of Zack Snyder's Justice League. First of all, thank you so much to everyone who's watched, liked and commented. It's really, really fueled my fire. Um, it's been so great to see so many amazing fans just rally around this movie and be so excited for the amazing gift that Zack Snyder and HBO Max and Binge were able to give us as fans. Now you can see I did get some gear at my screening, finally got it all ready to go so I can wear it for this very special video because today I want to dive further into scenes that I loved in the movie and this was a struggle trying to pick five. As it should be noted, there are heavy spoilers ahead. So if for whatever reason you're watching this and you haven't seen the movie, what are you doing? Go watch the movie. Don't watch me. Go watch the movie. And then come back and watch me. Thanks. Anyway, here we go. My top five scenes in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay, so coming in at number five is the Martha and Lois scene. So this scene is in Lois Lane's apartment in Metropolis. Martha Kent rocks up to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat uh, to check in to see how Lois is going because um, it's been a while since the death of Clark, aka Superman, uh, and she wants to talk about it. So the line that really stuck out for me is when Martha says, I see that damn S everywhere. No one knows him like we did. We are dealing with a secret on top of grief. It was such a poignant moment uh, after all the action and everything happening with, you know, this world destroying thing, this scene just kind of breathes and you kind of slow and calm down and realize how great Clark was in the lives of people as well as Superman was to the world. And it was such a beautiful scene. I really enjoyed that moment. And the fact that you were just allowed to take a breath and a short, oh, that's beautiful. And then the reveal at the end of the red eyes as Martha walks out of the apartment uh, and Martian Manhunter basically saying, the world needs Lois Lane. And the world does need Lois Lane because we know that she's the key in future films. We also know that through her reporting and through what she does and who she is as a person that the world really needs someone like her and I really appreciated that Zach gave that moment time to breathe it was allowed to be emotional and then turn into a really cool really cool easter egg for DC fans okay number four Star Labs uh, when the team and Victor come in with the mother box and Silas sees Victor and the rest of the Justice League and just that look of surprise and that Then he just moves into action mode Jumps on the radio and says no one is getting in this place without my say so and then as they pass each other There's a nod and It's just this subtle moment this beautiful moment and it could have easily turned into a sappy speech and and it didn't, it was just this knowing moment. Uh, and, you know, everyone says that, you know, Zack Snyder is visual and he goes big and he does, but he also knows when to dial it back. And I really felt like he did that in this scene. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Okay, number three, the battle of the old gods. Wow, there is so much to unpack in that scene. You've got Zeus, uh, Hades, then you've got King Atlan from Atlantis, you've got the Amazons, you've got Green Lantern all going ham on Darkseid and his minions. It's just such a visual feast. I just, I just didn't know where to look. I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Even on the second viewing, I'm like, oh my God, I need to drink this all in. And then remember that we're getting the Justice is Grey edition, so I'll definitely be watching it again. Um, I can't wait to watch that scene over and over and dissect it further. Hopefully a smarty pants rips it and puts it up on YouTube so we can all watch it together. Okay, number two, a father twice over. Uh, when Victor recreate, like, recreates that tape player and plays back the recording um, after Silas's sacrifice, 
it just really hit home how incredible this story is. Snyder said that Cyborg is the heart of this movie. He really meant it and it really shines through here. And just the words of I'm a father twice over, you know, like twice because literally I, you know, mm, did the deed with Mrs. Noon. You came into the world and then you nearly died and then a different mother brought you back. It's just, it's such a good scene. Oh, and I'm gonna cry if I keep talking about it. So let's move on to number one. So my number one scene in Zack Snyder's Justice League. No, it's not a battle. No, it's not anything crazy. It's Cyborg and the single mother. So this scene shows surveillance footage of uh, a waitress. Uh, she gets pennies for tips from these jerk kids. Uh, then you see her on the street giving those same pennies to a homeless man. Um, she then ends up back at her apartment. She's um, got been served an eviction notice um, and then just has this full on breakdown. She can't get into the house to get her stuff. She's got kids. It just looks like a mess. And she heads down to the ATM and then Cyborg does this manipulation with the banks because that's when he's talking about how you'll be able to bend you know, anything to your will, like money and stock markets and make things appear. Uh, so then Cyborg makes all this money appear in her account. Um, and just seeing the ATM flick, Bank of Gotham flick to that large amount of 100K and just seeing her scream and holding her kids and that sense of relief of everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. And the smile on Cyborg's face as he watches that scene and walks away is when I went, that's a hero. That is a hero. Like, that's what heroes do. And that's why we love them. And that's why we love Justice League. Um, so that's it. That's my top five scenes in Zack Snyder's Justice League. What were your favorite scenes? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are enjoying this, please like and subscribe for more Zack Snyder Justice League content. I'll also be jumping back into my normal movie reviews this week. So I've got a review of Tom and Jerry coming out and Godzilla vs Kong as well as Nobody. They'll all be dropping later on this week. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alistair, this is Lethal, and I'll see you on the next one.